Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again, and in this episode we are learning how to make a para flatman paracord lanyard. If your knives or zipper pulls are feeling lonely, feel free to make one of these little guys to spruce them up. So this mini para flatman is the smaller cousin of the larger para flatman that we did once before. So if you enjoyed that project, you're probably going to like this one. That being said, let's get into it. So starting off with my piece of paracord, I've got the midpoint right where my index finger is. And we're just going to start off by tying a diamond knot. The right side cord, I'm going to make a counterclockwise loop, place it on top of the opposite strand like so. Take the opposite strand, move it behind the right side strand. And then I'm going to bring that cord behind the opposite strand and go back around and loop it underneath itself. So underneath that middle piece that's in the middle of the loop and pull that through and we form our Carex bend. And at this point, the cords will naturally want to go in a sort of counterclockwise direction. And with the strand on the right, I'm going to bring it behind that base cord there and go in through the Carex bend from the back to the front through the middle opening. And then with the opposite cord, bring it in a counterclockwise direction. Once again, go past the base cord on the bottom and go in through the Carex bend from the back to the front, have both cords coming out the middle there. And from there, we're going to cinch up our diamond knot, get all the slack out and get the cords nice and even. And also, I'm going to leave a loop up top that's about two inches or so. This is just so that I have enough length to loop it onto my uh, knife lanyard and or zipper pulls. So from there, we've got our top loop length set. We're going to turn it around, have the two terminal ends up top like so. And now from here, I'm going to take the right side cord and put a clockwise loop in it, lay it over top the opposite cord like so. And take the left cord, put it on top of the opposite cord and take that terminal end and put it through the loop on the right side. Okay, this is going to start our first Cobra knot. And this is where you set the length of your para flat man. From there, we're going to cinch up that first Cobra knot. And I made this section just under two inches long, but you can adjust that to your own preference. And then from there, I'm going to continue my Cobra knots leading with that left side strand. So tie the same knot over the core, right side strand on top, and bring the right side strand out the crook on the left. Okay, so whichever side has that vertical knot is the side that is the lead strand side. And just continue tying those Cobra knots uh, going back down towards the diamond knot. So I made my way all the way to the other end where the diamond knot is. And then from here, I'm going to turn everything around and I'm continuing with the left side strand. So as you can see, that's the side with the vertical knot on it. And I'm going to make my way back down the way we came. And for my particular lanyard, I tied 10 Cobra knots on this first layer. Now going back the way we came, I'm going to continue tying those Cobra knots, but this time we're going to stop uh, about three quarters of the way. So as you can see from my second layer of Cobra knots, I tied, I tied about five Cobra knots. I guess they would be King Cobra knots over top of the first section. And of course, from here, we're just going to clip off the excess cord. Make sure you leave, you know, just about uh, an eighth of an inch. Don't melt it too close to the lanyard. Melt it with my lighter and of course, press down with the knotter's tool. And of course, I'm going to do this for both sides as usual. And before you go, just as a quick little extra tip, here's how you can loop this onto a knife lanyard or zipper pull. And this is especially the case when you have a opening that's a little too small to just push the paracord through. So I'm going to use a little piece of micro cord. You can even use the inner guts of the 550 paracord. Just use a small piece of it. You're going to loop that around the paracord loop of the para flat man. And then you're just going to take those two thin ends of the micro cord and you're going to insert those through the loop of the knife lanyard or zipper pull, whatever you're attaching it to. And with a bit of force, I can pull that loop through. And then from there, I just need to bend that loop over top the entire pair of flat man. And I can pull it tight and that kind of forms a little cow's hitch there. And we have our pair of flat man attached to my knife. And there is our pair of flat man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. 
If you guys want access to exclusive videos as well as the Patreon Discord, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. I thank you for even considering. And if not, you can always support the video by commenting and liking this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and hit that bell icon. If you enjoyed what I did in this video, please feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.